I want Facebook held responsible for their possible role in the ISIS terrorist attacks in Paris, France. I don't know what makes it so important that we all have to use a social media site that stood on the side, the side of ISIS three hours before the attacks happened. You see this post right here? This is from an alleged person, an anonymous. It's published May 13th. It's about Facebook took a report ISIS accounts group down. This happened three to two to three hours before the Paris ISIS attacks happened. Okay, what did Fox News just release today? Fox News says right here, separately, Fox News has learned that four credible ISIS-linked social media accounts began sharing 70 messages 72 hours before the Paris attacks. Okay, so let this dawn in on you because I'm going to play this video now, part of this video right now. Let me first show you the article. And this is legitimate, even though this is a site nobody knows because they, they link to this video right here. We'll get to this in a second. Hours before the Paris terrorist attack, Facebook stopped Anonymous from exposing ISIS recruiters. What? Now let me, let, let's just think about that for a second because it's 100% confirmed to be a fact. Anonymous is claiming this, that... A couple of hours before the Paris, attack, the Paris terrorist attacks happened, Facebook banned the page where Anonymous goes after and pursues uh, ISIS. I don't know if you are all aware of this. Anonymous has actually been opposing ISIS for quite some time, exposing them, doing what they can online, fighting against them because they're against terrorism. And Facebook banned them from that. So why do we sign into it every day? I mean, it's like a mockery. You could go on Facebook right now and you could see these terrorist emblems that you stand with with France. Yet Facebook stood with ISIS three hours before the attacks happened. So why don't Facebook just release a picture with the, the ISIS flag on it and let you make your profile picture that so you, so you really know what side you're supporting when you sign into Facebook. Because right here is all the proof. We remove the post below because it doesn't follow the community standards. Reporting terrorists does not follow the Facebook's community standards. So let me ask you guys a question this before I attach this anonymous video to the end of this video. Because we all still are going to use Facebook regardless. Because we're addicted to it. It's like virtual crack to us. So let me ask you a question. Let's say that tomorrow there's a terrorist attack, a plan for your city or the town you live in, in the United States of America. Anonymous is working behind the scenes trying to expose this terrorist attack. And then, you're, and then, and then Facebook bans them because reporting terrorists is, is a violation of their community standards, okay? And say that Anonymous was right on the trail of, the, of a terrorist that might have possibly be discussing this before the attack like they were doing in this incident. And let's say that the terrorist attack happens and your entire family dies. And you're the only one that survives it. Would you still use Facebook then? Or would you at least try to hold them accountable for it? Because we know what Facebook does. Facebook has been known for the last five years to have the most anti-American review staff of any website. And it's hard to beat Twitter, but Facebook definitely takes the cake on that one. Banning people for talking about the Constitution. I got a picture of... A supremacist group uploading the picture of young children saying murder white people and I also have this the, the picture that says that Facebook found that that was not a violation of their community standards but reporting terrorists is when are we gonna hold them accountable it's ridiculous now here's the anonymous video citizen of the world, and Facebook, we are Anonymous Red Cult, as most of you know, we're engaged in Operation ISIS from some time now, to fight ISIS online in different ways, like taking down ISIS sites, leaking information, exposing ISIS accounts on social media sites, one of our groups on Facebook called Report ISIS Accounts, with the URL, www.facebook.com slash group slash alphesis, and it's dedicated to post and report ISIS accounts from YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and other social media sites, where we reported and deactivated thousands of accounts. Accounts they used to communicate, recruit, and spread ISIS propaganda. Few hours ago, Facebook decided to close this group, 
and blocked the admins for three days, without giving any explanation for it, except, quote, we removed the post below because it doesn't follow the Facebook community standards, end of quote. So we asked, is it because ISIS supporters reported us back, and if so, for what reason? or Facebook is bothered from us reporting terrorists' accounts that violate Facebook community standards anyway by using fake names and posting inappropriate and violent propaganda that only serve ISIS terrorism. We asked, is this one of the new Facebook policies to protect terrorists' accounts instead of fighting it? Or simply Facebook doesn't care? We leave this for the public opinion to judge this action by Facebook action that can only be interpreted that Facebook took a wrong decision. Anyway, we will continue our fight on ISIS. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.